There is a lot of work to do. I'm sure I'm dreaming and dreams usually come true gradually. I think it'll be very interesting for the foreign audience, for the American audience to see all these documents, all these photo documents. I try to work exclusively with archival primary sources, with authentic history, and show it in a popular way. The exhibition begins with 1916, when Leontovich created Shedrick, and up to the present day, to the modern struggle for independence, to the time a new song, O the Red Viburnum in the Meadow, appeared on our diplomatic arena. It'll be a very concentrated presentation of the history, which goes in circles. But this time we'll break the circle and free Ukraine. We will free Ukraine. This is the translation of the song O the Red Viburnum in the Meadow into English. I will say this briefly. Everything is symbolic. There is so much symbolic meaning in this story. When the choir moved to America and remained there in exile, Alexander Koshitz, the conductor, remained in New York. And in 1944, a few months before he died, Alexander Koshitz presented a collection of songs and records called Hear Ukraine Sing in New York. Then the choir, like recently the legendary band Pink Floyd, 20 years after the tour gathered in New York again to record new songs. One of the records was the song O oh, the Red Viburnum in the Meadow. It was in 1944. Since all the songs, their names were translated into English because it was in New York, the song was translated into English, Ukraine, we will be free. This is about symbolism. O oh, the Red Viburnum Burnham in the Meadow carries this liberating context for us again like it did hundred years ago. Therefore, the song is an instrument of liberation, an instrument of our entry into the world community. There are a lot of meanings, and we will reveal them one after another at our concerts, events, exhibitions.